Hello everybody, this is uh, David from Zone Casino and today I am going to teach you to find the clave. Now a lot of people emphasize this, a lot of people say well, you gotta know where the clave is, you gotta find the clave. However, what happens when you don't hear the clave because it's not, it's not uh, explicitly playing? Uh, this, is the, this is very common for most of the songs that we hear nowadays, whether they're cueing or non cueing It's very rare today to actually hear the clave uh, playing. But there are ways that you can find it. And so today I'm going to teach you one way of finding the cloud. Uh, before I start, I want to make a disclaimer. Uh, this way that I'm going to teach you doesn't work for the whole song. Uh, remember that the song is divided into more or less into two sections. You have the, the introduction and then you have the montuno. And what I'm going to teach you is how to find the cloud during the montuno. If you want to know more about the introduction and the montuno differences, uh, I will leave a, 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 a link. Uh, on the description so you can go to my blog and read about it there um, so let's get to it How, uh, first let's do the clave pattern all right the clave pattern is this okay and so this clave pattern happens uh, uh, on two loops of four or as we dancers would say from one to eight so if I were to do a dancer scan when playing the clave it would go like this one two three four five six a one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight all right now I'm doing the three two cloud here because I'm starting the one on the three set uh, but musicians don't do one through eight they do one through four so it would repeat twice it would be one two three four 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 again now this pattern you don't hear a lot in songs nowadays. However, there is one instrument that during the Montuno will help you uh, figure out where the clave is. Okay? And that instrument is the cowbell. And I'm talking about this cowbell which is also known as the bongo cowbell because it's the cowbell that the bongo player uses when uh, during the Montuno. The bongo player is essentially the guy who has two smaller drums and he's playing it here. And when the Montuno comes in he puts it down and he starts banging on the cowbell. Okay? So the cowbell and the clave happen within that same 2-4 counts loop or between uh, or 1 and 8 okay and there is something in the sound of the cowbell and the pattern of the cowbell does and the pattern of the clave that overlaps they are exactly the same and happen at the exact same count and so when that happens well if one is exactly the same as the other you can figure out where the clave is so the cowbell pattern and I'm gonna do a 3-2 clave because there are two ways of starting it depending on the type of clave that you're emphasizing the, the side of the clave that you're emphasizing I'm going to emphasize the three sides of the cloud when starting the cowbell. It's like this. Okay, that's the basic cowbell pattern that gets played in the Montuno. Now, in this basic cowbell pattern, uh, there is one thing that's exactly the same as the cloud of the pattern, and that is this part. That, that, that here happens in the exact same count as the two sides of the clave, which would be so, this. Pa, pa. See that pa pa there happens exactly in the same way that it happens in the cowbell. And so when you when you're listening for the cowbell, and you hear that? Pa, pa. You know that's what the clave is. You know that's what the clave is. The, the two sides of the cloud. So it will be. And that's how you figure out how to find the cloud using uh, the cowbell. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple.